Good morning, everyone. We have a special reading here today. You get to choose choice A, choice B, choice C for a special message from Spirit for you today. So I want you to close your eyes, take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Now choose your pile. Is it pile A, pile B, or pile C? All right, so for those of you that chose pile A, here is your message. You got the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles says a good time for diet and exercise, physical self-improvement and beauty, money and material possessions come early, easily. Mm. Success. Projects grow and prosper. Trust in your own instincts and ideas. Others will help. Rely on your friends and family for support. Now, the Ace of Pentacles is clarified by the King of Pentacles. The King of Cups. And the moon. Oh, I love this. I love this. So, Ace of Pentacles clarified by the moon, King of Pentacles, King of Cups. I feel like you're going to be seeing a lot of growth in your love life and in your career and finances. King of Pentacles, of course, is running all that glitters is gold, is the mindset. King of Pentacles, when it comes in, it talks about incoming abundance right? The King of Cups is incoming abundance in the love and relationships field. So you are being seen as a leader with the Ace of Pentacles. And because you're being seen as a leader, you're going to have more opportunities come in for you. With this card, for those of you that chose uh, card A, I do feel like you're going to have a lot of choices. It's not limited to one area at all. And do you know why? Because of this Moon card, you are following your intuition, you're not tuning into other people. You're tuning into yourself. And that is what is bringing you abundance. So congratulations to those of you that chose card A. You have some sort of incoming abundance. And I feel that it is in the love and relationships field as well as in the career and finances. you got a double hitter coming in. All right. For those of you that chose card B, you got two of wands. The Two of Wands says growth of personal power and courage. You will command the respect and attention of others. Embark on a new adventure. Act decisively. Research carefully before making decisions. New creative ideas are needed for success. Commit all of your energy to new projects. We got the Seven of Swords clarifying it. And the Queen of Swords, clarifying it. Mm -mm -mm. Whew. Aren't you glad to be here? For those of you that chose card B, you were really caught up in your mindset. But it's not because of your own doing. Other people lied to you, deceived you, betrayed you. And that messed with your thinking. For uh, I see for some of you, you didn't know who you were or where you were going. You, you weren't processing correctly. But look at this. You got Queen of Swords now. That says to me that you're overcoming all that deception, confusion, scatteredness, right? And because of that, you've had some sort of growth in your personal power and in your courage, right? So for those of you that chose card B, you're coming into your power and people are respecting that about you. They're understanding that life gave you lemons and you made lemonade. You didn't choose to stay down. You chose to keep looking to the future and keep staying positive. You chose all the right energies and that's why you're going to be rewarded. So for those of you that chose card B, I really see your reward coming as personal reward as you overcome those inner demons you've been fighting and struggling with. 
And then the world also gets to see that from you because they see the peace about you. They see the happiness about you. They see the joy about you and they're celebrating with you. Congratulations to those of you that chose card B. All right, for those of you that chose card C, you got Ace of Wands. Look at that. New beginnings. This card says anything is possible. Good time to begin a new project. Personal power and intellect is at a high. Tap into your creative energy, high energy and enthusiasm. Good time to start a family. Fertility assured, warm and wonderful family life. Ace of Wands is new beginnings. And look at this. It is clarified by Two of Swords and the Devil. Mm -mm -mm. Congratulations to those of you that chose card C. You have overcome your inner demons for sure. I feel like for most of you, this demon was about you're not enough or you're not worthy or you're not lovable. Like, I really feel that's the, the three areas. You just felt maybe left out, but now you're like, no, none of that's true. I'm not going to be tied to this situation anymore. I'm not going to be stuck wandering. I'm going to make up my mind that I am worthy. I am lovable. I am enough. Yeah. So because you've decided to put yourself into that place, you have some opportunities coming through for you this week. Ace of Wands is new beginnings. And it's like a hand, you know, you see the hand coming from spirit holding that staff. So it's like you're being directed by God. You're on your path. You're living your purpose. Right? So congratulations to everybody, really and truly. We have um, Ace of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Ace of Wands. Overall, the energy is of new beginnings this week for everybody across the board. It's just depending on how you're having your new beginnings, right? For some of you, the new beginnings, Ace of Pentacles, Group A, your new beginnings is in your career, your finances, your love life, actual offers coming through. For those of you in Group B, Two of Wands indicate look towards the future because you've overcome your inner demons of you holding back yourself, you finding the worth in you, you overcoming those negative thoughts, right? And for those of you in group C, you also have new beginnings coming up in terms of opportunities, offers, because you've overcome your own demons and you've taken off the blindfold, pretending there's no problem, addressing problems head on. That took courage. So you're going to be rewarded for that. So congratulations, everybody. Just want to remind you guys that I do do private readings. First time clients with me, if you're meeting me on these social media channels, it is $33 for a 15 minute reading that can be done by phone or IG or Facebook chat. So reach out to me, let me know, and I'm happy to read for you and your situation. Don't forget guys, please subscribe to my channel, hit a like on this video and drop a comment and let me know how this reading pertained to you. I always welcome your feedback. That's all for now. Bye guys.